what's up? Welcome to today's video. I um, don't have anything planned really, so this is a really random video. I wasn't planning on filming this, but I have like my first Saturday off in a while. And so I'm making some healthy sweet potato brownies. I can't take the recipe credit because I'm following the Instagram account Namaste Sweet. Um, but it's like sweet potato brownies, so that's what we're making, and um, yeah. So I started by taking two sweet potatoes, and I, on the DL, microwave them, but you know, you can totally put them in the oven if you hate microwave. Probably a total of like eight to 10 minutes. And then I took the skin off, and now they're nice and soft, and you can mash them. I'm gonna have to refer to them back to my instructions, because I don't actually know what we're doing here. I also went ahead and preheated my oven already. Probably a good thing to do if you're baking something. If you guys are curious, the camera right now is balanced on top of my toaster. Also my kettle, my like electric kettle. Mashing the sweet potatoes. <gasps> the next step is to add one third cup cacao powder. I only have cocoa, which is a different thing. This should work fine and still health. Our brownies for situation. Really high quality footage, really good filming. Oh. So now we're gonna add in our cocoa. And a third cup cocoa. Oops, that was messy. Wish I had some sort of camera nice setup here, but it's just not gonna be an option for today's video. Two thirds cup nut butter. I have Teddy. Smooth, unsalted, natural peanut butter. We're gonna do two thirds cup of this. I'm gonna use the spatula. The reason why. Oh, actually, what I could talk about during this video is my experience with Whole30. So this is gonna be like a little Whole30 review video. So here are my thoughts. So I did Whole30 for an entire, the entire 30 days. I actually didn't like cheat or anything at all. I didn't have alcohol, I didn't have any sugar. Basically centered my meals around like proteins and healthy fats, but I think naturally when you're restricting your diet, you tend to like find other ways to compensate for that. So like because I wasn't having sugar or carbs, I needed something to fulfill like that craving. So I would go like really overboard on the nut butter, on the peanut, like, or not peanuts, you can't have peanut butter, but on like the mixed nuts for snacking and all of that stuff. The high amount of protein that I was eating that I was working out so much because I wasn't going out. Like if I'm not going out on the weekend, I'd be going to workout classes Saturday and Sunday in addition to like my weekly regimen. So um, I actually like bulked up a lot. I don't know. My body just like didn't react well to what I was eating. My like thinnest that I think I've ever been was when I was eating a completely vegan diet. If you remember right around this time last year, um, I was eating almost completely vegan. Go back to some of my videos if you are vegan. I don't necessarily think that's a healthy way to eat either or sustainable in the same situation, but I do think my body does better with like a plant-based situation instead of something that was so focused on um, protein because I was having protein like three times a day, like hearty sources of protein. Like I was having two eggs for breakfast, then I'd have like chicken for lunch, and then I'd have turkey for dinner. And it was just like a lot of meat. And I think it caused me to kind of like bulk up a little bit in like a month since Whole30 and I really cut back. I try to do like maybe one source of like real protein a day. So whether that's an egg or I kind of stay away from like the chicken and meats um, and I've been doing more fish and I think that that works way better for my body also incorporating back a little bit of grains but not like going overboard trying to stay mostly gluten free but also not like restricting it next ingredient is maple syrup so we're gonna do one fourth cup of that I got a Trader Joe's today right okay I think that it's not like normal to gain weight one fourth cup right and then one third cup almond flour my camera battery died. That's good. Oh, this one's dead too. No. If you're going from a highly processed food diet to Whole30, you will lose weight and you'll learn a lot. And I definitely think it's good for that. Learning to look at ingredients is like the best thing I think you can do for your health. I've like done that for a while, but it was definitely a good like restart, like making sure I was always looking at the 
my camera died did get me back to looking at ingredients again which is something that i kind of like drifted off from around the holiday time so i just needed like a reset i needed something with rules i needed to stop my sugar consumption and for all of that stuff it totally worked and it also taught me like a lot about my body in specific and that like it maybe doesn't do as well on such a high protein and high fat diet i've tried to focus more on like vegetables getting in all of like the plants that i can basically reincorporated beans which my stomach seems to tolerate totally fine as well as grains like very sparingly usually on the weekends my work week i eat pretty similar meals not like buying bulks of chicken and turkey and actually pause we're gonna put these in the oven because it's gonna get dark out but this is the consistency of the batter I tried like a little bit and it's really good so i'm gonna pop this into this pan which i just greased with some oil and then i'm gonna put it in the oven for around 30 minutes and then we will test it when we get back back to the whole 30 review as far as like my energy levels I feel like right before i was like kind of like i kind of mentioned earlier i kind of fell off like my whole thing like right before the holidays i was eating everything I had no restriction whatsoever really like embracing the time with my family and friends which is totally fine it's fine to like get off course but I was feeling really sluggish and horrible and like not motivated not confident so getting back into like a swing and a routine I think was what more so gave me like the energy rather than the actual food I was eating I will say my bloating almost went completely away since moving off of Whole30 I've kind of discovered that I have an intolerance to like raw vegetables which if you have like IBS or anything like that you know that that's like very common so raw kale I've kind of eliminated I will eat it if it's cooked raw broccoli those sort of things give me the worst pain out of all but definitely lower carb has helped in the bloating department that was like the main thing that I noticed and I also just like to like not craving sugar at the end of the day like I finish my day usually with a fruit of some sort like an apple and some peanut butter again I went kind of like overboard on the nut butter I wasn't like needing chocolate every single night I also liked how it made me like explore new recipes Hey guys, so be honest, I'm a bad YouTuber, my camera keeps dying, so I forget what I was saying, but basically, I didn't like Whole30. This camera seems like not clear, is that just me? Seems better. Whole30 definitely was not for me. One of my friends who did it with me and loved everything about it and felt like she really benefited, benefited, bleh, bleh, benefited from benefit? I'm not okay. Protein and fat combination and like really liked cutting out the grains so I think that just proves that like everyone is different I think I've lost like even weight since going off whole 30 so like the most healthy way to eat in general is plant-based at the top then protein fat carbs sugar is that like the way bottom I'm waiting for my brownies to get done and then me and mal are probably gonna go to pick up a little health dinner tonight we're gonna maybe try like a cute vegan place in new york then we're probably gonna get treats on the way home because it's saturday and we're not going out so i like to treat with like real treats i hope you guys found this review helpful i know it's probably not what most people say about whole 30. all right so i just pulled out the brownies from the oven i let them cool for like probably five minutes and then I went ahead and put on like my peanut butter frosting which I just whipped up it was just that natural peanut butter dairy free yogurt just like a little bit you can kind of like see the consistency it's not like a lot of yogurt so the last and final step I took some of that cocoa powder with some coconut oil some maple syrup and I made like a chocolate drizzle honestly just to make it look prettier a little bit prettier I guess yeah. because she probably has mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, can I just get a review quickly that the brownies, wait, wait till it's in focus. Alright, can I just get a confirmation that the sweet potato brownies are fire? They're fire. So good. And I hate sweet potatoes. So there you have it. <laughs>